video you're about to watch is one that sounds like a scene from a Quentin Tarantino movie or from a Martin Scorsese movie about the Italian mob, but this did happen. While many rappers host Instagram live sessions to share new music, connect with their fans, rant at their ops, host virtual concerts, or leave it to Boosie Badass to almost turn a live session to an X-rated video, this rapper's live session became the last he ever did as he was shot while on Instagram Live. Today on Rap Central, we're bringing you the real story behind Indian Red Boy IG Live shooting. Early Life Zarel Dijon Rivera, who's popularly known as Indian Red Boy, was born in Inglewood, California. The rapper grew up in a small family with two siblings. According to various reports, although Red Boy grew up in Compton, he went to a school in Watts, a school where a majority of the students were part of the Crips, while Red Boy might have been the only member of the Bloods. He always stood his ground when he had to deal with his fellow students. Some reports state that Indian Red Boy was allegedly a member of the Inglewood family or the Cincinnati Park family Bloods, who were popularly known as the CPF. Both gangs are subsets of the Bloods and their close allies who run side by side together on some of their operations and the two gangs are under the Family Bloods. The Family Bloods is a group of various subgroups of the Blood Street Gang that hold territory in the Inglewood area where Indian Red Boy grew up. Inglewood Blood Sets The Inglewood Blood Sets are the various street gangs that belong to Inglewood, which is a city in the South Bay region of Los Angeles County, California. One of such sets is the Crenshaw Mafia Gang or the Crenshaw Mafia Gangsta Bloods. The gang is a long-standing African-American street gang formed during the late 1970s by a man known on the streets as KB in the Western District of Inglewood, California. The Crenshaw Mafia Gang holds territory in the area known as The Bottom, an area which is centered around Century and Crenshaw Boulevard on 104th Street. Although some of its members live in other parts of town, most grew up together in that particular neighborhood. The Avenue Paru Gang is another set of the Bloods that belong to Inglewood. The Avenue Pyrus were founded in the 1970s and they were the first gang outside of Compton, California to claim the Pyru card. The gang holds territory between Crenshaw Boulevard in the west and Van Ness to the east from 104th Street and in the north towards 109th Street in the south. While many members of Avenue Pyru claim 104th Street, others claim 108th and 109th as territory as well. Next are the Arbor Village Bloods who were founded in the 1980s. The gang is a spin off of the Inglewood Family Blood Alliance, claiming 94th Street. The gang's area is located in South Inglewood, between La Brea Avenue to Aviation, and from Century Boulevard to Manchester. The Arbor Village Bloods remain one of the most active blocks from the Inglewood Family Gang, with over 200 active members. The Weirdos Gang Bloods is another alleged set of the Bloods in Inglewood. The gang began as a clique in Morningside High School, a public school that was founded in 1951 and is the second largest school in Inglewood. The gang is a spin-off of the Crenshaw Mafia gang. Next is the Random Mob Gangsta Bloods, who are a small street gang in Inglewood, and the gang was founded in 1991. The gang was initially founded in Inglewood as a clique before they later became associated with the Bloods in 1999. The gang holds territory in the 82nd Street and the 5th Avenue Park Circle area. The Random Mob Bloods has two subsets, the 82nd Street RMG and the other being the 99th Money Side Hustlers. The neighborhood Pauru Bloods are perhaps the largest set in Inglewood. The gang was founded in the 1970s and unlike most other sets of the Bloods, the gang is predominantly made of African American members but are also currently known to have Hispanic and Asian members as well. The neighborhood Pauru's were originally known as Hyde Park Boys and they occupy the largest area in Inglewood. From Centinella Avenue in the north to Florence Avenue, to the south between La Cienega Boulevard and Edgewood Street, just west of Centinella Avenue. Another alleged blood set in the Inglewood area is the Queen Street Blood Gang. The Queen Street Bloods is a small African-American street gang that has two subsets, the West Side QSB and the other being on 76th Street. The gang was sanctioned into the Blood Alliance by the larger neighborhood power rules in the 1980s. Some of their enemies include the Raymond Avenue Crips, Osage Legend Crips, Inglewood Family Gang, 18th Street Gang, and the Inglewood 13 Hispanic Gang. The last set we'll mention in this video are the Centinella Park Family Bloods. The gang which was founded in the east side of the city of Inglewood, California are also often referred to as the Nellas. The Centinella Park Bloods was formed in the mid to late 1970s, but the gang didn't claim the Pauru card until the early 1990s. The gang derives its name from the public park called Centinella Park, which is also known as the Edward Vincent Jr. Park. The Centinella Park Family Bloods fall under the Family Alliance and are clicked up with the Inglewood Family Gang and Family Swan Bloods. 
Various reports state that Indian Red Boy was a member of the Center Park Bloods. Now, the reason it was important to know about all these sets is because some fans are speculating that Red Boy was perhaps killed by one of these gangs. But before we get into that, don't forget to like the video, drop your comments below, and subscribe to the channel to watch more videos like this one. The Death of Indian Red Boy On the 8th of July 2021, Indian Red Boy was killed while on Instagram Live with his friend Baby Capone. Baby Capone, who's also a rapper, is a close friend of Indian Red Boy. While on a live session, Red Boy had parked his car at the rear of a multi-story gated apartment complex at the 14100 block of Chadron Avenue while having a conversation with Capone. The rapper was laughing and sharing jokes with his friend Capone a few seconds before he was shot at least 12 times with three of the shots hitting him in the head. The rapper was killed at exactly 4.10 p.m. In a moment of self-fulfilling prophecy before he was shot, Indian Red Boy had just asked Baby Capone about what he would do if he was caught without his gun and a few minutes later, the rapper was shot. In the video, a few seconds before he was shot, the rapper can be seen looking out the window of his car. This moment shows that he has seen the murderer approaching, after which Red Boy bends and tries to cover his head to avoid the bullet hitting him in the head. A few seconds later, the rapper raises up his head and he can be seen bleeding through his nose and muttering to his friend to get help, while also stating to Capone that he's in Hawthorne. He dropped his camera seconds later and the live stream ended. Police responding to reports that a student found Indian Red slumped in the front seat. He had been shot multiple times and was pronounced dead at the scene. According to a lieutenant of the Hawthorne Police, it appears to have been a walk-up shooting and he appears to have been targeted. He appears to be a gang member. Controversy surrounding the death of Indian Red Boy There are various reports about why Indian Red Boy was killed. Some fans believe that Indian Red was killed because he had allegedly dissed the mural of Nipsey Hussle. He had appeared in Baby Capone's video, laughing and dancing with Capone who had defaced Nipsey Hussle's mural by spray painting his name on the mural as well as the words Victory Lab, HBD, mate. Fans are speculating that Indian Red was killed for his association with Baby Capone. Many fans believe that Capone is the alleged major target of the Rolling Sixties Crips, which is the gang that Nipsey was a member of. One of Nipsey Hussle's friends, Cowboy, had also posted a video next to the mural showing the damage done to the mural. Baby Capone's name on the mural before sending a message about not disrespecting the dead. Cowboy also stated in the video, when the homies come over, they ain't coming over with no spray paint. Cowboy describes Capone's actions as wall banging before then going to say, I bet you gonna change your name today before the is man up and come do something dumb to you. Various comments from fans on Twitter state that Indian Red Boy was allegedly killed as revenge for the actions of his friend Capone. Nipsey Hussle was much loved by various members of his community and he had been an icon of the Crenshaw neighborhood he grew up in. Nipsey was highly respected for giving back to his community and trying to give it a better future by encouraging a reading culture rather than a history of it. However, another section of fans believe that the death of Indian Red Boy might not be related to the Nipsey Hussle mural, but instead a dispute with his old crew. When Friends Become Rivals Earlier in the video, we gave you a brief history of Inglewood Blood sets. Well, here's why. Indian Red Boy is a member of the Sentinella Park Family Bloods who are part of the Inglewood Family Bloods. However, before joining the Nellas, the aspiring rapper belongs to another subgroup of Bloods. Some reports state that he formerly was part of the Hollywood Powerus. The Hollywood Powerus are reportedly Indian Red's former gang and various reports state that he left on bad terms, hence why they might have allegedly been the ones who shot Indian Red. The Hollywood Powerus, also known as Hollywood Bompton Powerus, are an African American street gang located on the east side of Compton, California. The gang named themselves after a residential street in the center of a neighborhood called South Holly Avenue which reportedly stretches from Compton Boulevard to Alondra Boulevard between Bradfield Avenue and Harris Avenue. Many also believe the Indian Red being shot 12 times shows that whoever killed him had a personal beef with him and this is the reason why many believe that his former gang members might be responsible for his death. However, there's another twist to the story. Was Indian Red Boy set up? Some section of fans also believe that Indian Red Boy might have just been set up by a woman he was involved with. A few days after the death of Indian Red Boy, his brother put a post up on his Instagram stories that read, I love you brother, RIP, fly high my little bro, that and them three is gonna get theirs. Red Boy's brother also posted a video in which he says that he'll get revenge for the death of his brother. Many fans believe that Indian Red might have indeed been set up because he didn't reveal his location on the Instagram live session 
until he had been shot. Fans believe that whoever shot him must have gotten information from someone close to the rapper. That brings us to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment below. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new content.